one folded recumbent tricycle and the seat that goes on it. So this is a handle for getting in and out for support. This one is loose, so it comes out. And then we can simply unfold it like so. This is where it comes together. That piece here, that little button needs to go in enough to click in. And then this needs to lock in place. We can then put this support piece back in and tighten it with the Allen wrench set that they provided. The height of that, of course, can be adjusted by releasing the tension there. Change the height and or the orientation of the handle. These pins are what are gonna hold the seat in place. They go through those eye holes to hold it in place. So the seat will go on here. I'll get lower. So the seat forks just go around these knurled pieces and also around here. I may lose your picture while I switch hands here. Check that. I think the top here has to go in before the bottom here. So the, the top it's gonna rest in there. So I think these sliding screws need to be in this forward position, not the back position, so that there's room for the headrest to fit in. The back of the seat, the forks, over there and sorry hard to so I got these two the two black forks outside of the yellow fork with this pin in between I couldn't do it on camera because I needed both hands I stood behind the rear wheel so I gotta have a hand on the left and a hand on the right to just slot everything together. And then down here, these forks go together. So the forks go around here and just this ring pin that has just a little button there to keep it in place. So there's one on the left see it there's one on the right I can't see from where I am So it's 
underneath some more cables than the left side. This is the right side. So back here, the front forks are in. And now that we have this in, we can lock it in place. Maybe over tightened here. Just trying to get in here to get an image of, that's how much of the, um, inside bolt is sticking through the nut. I think that's about the right amount, but maybe you need to be adjusted. So the one piece left is this support for the basket operation. There's two front supports, one on the left, one on the right, and then kind of a large fork system. I wish it was that none of these forks had to be removed to get to the seat undone. That's a simple movement, but it will not work with this fork in place. So this one screw needs to be undone and redone um, each time you take the seat on or off. And that's with one of these. It's a little hard to get it to bite. And then these two screws, you see on the left, it's all the way forward. On the right, it's a little back of being all the way forward, which they should be able to just stay in place and not need to be adjusted. But that's what works for me. So I think this should be ready to go. If I can do a selfie video of me getting in. So stepping in with my legs behind these bars. I would think I want to be behind this. No, I don't want them behind there. I want my legs in front of there, don't I? And then the brakes have a more permanent um, braking like a parking brake feature so to speak and then one can grab on with both hands and lower into the seat and then put your feet in the clips brake, steering, mirrors, so everything in reverse to break it down. This handle is going to be in the way, so I need to loosen this enough, loosen this bolt, this clamp loosens, take that off, It'll probably stay loose, set it aside, unscrew this bolt to get this out of the way, and I would put that back so that it's not lost. Unclamp that part of the seat. Pull out these ribs. Left side just pulls, put enough pressure on it. And I got my hand on the other side. You're gonna need one of these for the next step. Uh, this is loose. This is loose. Slide this. 
up and out. This may have to be loosened and tightened in each step. I would think it wouldn't have to, but after this demo, I have to. Take that away. Release this pressure. Now, inside of here, you want that pin out of the way. So you use one of these locking safety pins. Push that in just enough. Again, a little easier if I had two hands. separated. Now it's up. You can fold it in half. Probably want to put this back in place to know where it is. And put these back in place. in the seat. That's actually backwards, how it would go. So that breakdown was quicker than my most recent setup. See if I can open it back up again quickly. Take this handle out of the way. Put it up to full upright position. Going to need to push that in, button in, so that that's there. This can then lock in place. There's not a lot of tension there. It's just kind of a safety. It seems to keep it from moving. Going to take this bolt out. Take the chair. I'm going to sit down. Take our pins out. Then we want to see if I can do this. Okay, so we've got locked in the bottom that locked in I'm gonna put the fork back in place tighten that back up and the last piece